Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be changing the crank breather valve on this uh, BMW E90. This is a 320 diesel, uh, 2009 model. And uh, the reason why we're going to change the crank breather valve is that uh, uh, the car's uh, smoking uh, from the exhaust pipe. So this is the crank breather valve we're going to change. We've got this from eBay for around about $12.99. So it's, uh, it, it consists of uh, three piece uh, uh, component so you've got the plastic cap and then you've got the rubber seal in there and then the spring okay so this compression spring here so the location for the crank breather valve uh, is under the cover here engine cover so we're just gonna open the just gonna pull out the engine cover And the location is just just here this one here right so this is the new part I I showed you earlier so just gonna open it to check it so before you change it before you um, remove the old one and put the new one just make sure make sure that the the size is same so we're just gonna put it here and match the size yeah the size is same so I'm, I'm i'm putting it upside down to match it with the existing uh, uh, breather valve casing cover so the tool we are using is uh, this here and uh, the only way to get this uh, valve uh, removed is uh, to break the clips so you got a couple of clips here one two three four five five clips so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide the tool here like that just gonna break all the clips to gain access like this just gonna remove just gonna be just gonna be extra careful with the, these small plastic pieces Just gonna break the clip on this side. And then one at the back. There you go. So this is the old uh, breather valve. So you can tell that the rubber is gone brittle. Just gonna pull out the spring. So here's our new part. So this is much softer. Seal, rubber seal on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the spring first in the center here. Then we're going to line up the line up the rubber just like that. So we're going to make sure that the rubber seal here sits onto the rim nicely evenly there we go and then just gonna press the new casing down like this there we go there we go friends that's the new crank uh, casing uh, valve fitted in no time. So 
So the next bit we're going to do is to put the cover back on. There you go friends, job done. Thank you very much for watching the video.